and we found so many golf balls. We literally found hundreds more than I thought we would in these conditions. Make sure to join the Muskrat Lynx golf team today. Tap that subscribe button because we've got so much cool stuff here. Because we've got so much cool stuff here on the channel you can't get anywhere else. But I think that's going to be it for me. Have fun out there, everyone. Okay, let's see. What is going on here? Oh my god. We are back out here in Mexico at Diamante. It's a par four. I think it's almost, it's almost dang near reachable, mate. Did that good little- It disappeared. It's in the hole! No, it's not! No, it's not! Oh my god! It's time for another flawless recreation. Well, almost flawless. I couldn't quite get my hairline far enough back to really match things up, but uh, yeah, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be one of the greatest golf videos you've ever watched. If you haven't seen me since the last hole in one, welcome back. We've posted over 200 unique golf videos to date, but this video is like none other. A 360 yard hole in one that on paper seems impossible, but Matt Scharf did it and so can I. Let me show you how. This is the Diamante Dunes course in Cabo San Lucas, one of Mexico's most popular resorts. Let's dial it up here and see what we got. Oh my, are you f Hey, good, good. Next time, can you please try to make a hole-in-one on one of TGC's hundreds of thousands of real golf courses? That would be great. And guess what? The only LiDAR data available from that part of Mexico was from 1988, which was before the course was built. So now we have to freehand it again ourselves, and this time with no LiDAR. Now I know what you're thinking. Kyler, why don't you just go make Matt's hole-in-one at PJ National? child's play. I am the undisputed king of simulator hole-in-ones. No other channel can even hold a candle to me. In fact, I'm so confident, I'm gonna go do it right now. That's right, two hole-in-ones in one video. Let's go, right now, vamos. That looks pretty good. Oh, now we're talking, okay, okay. After about 20 minutes and 15 shots in, I decided to club up because that's worked for us in the past for these hole-in-one challenges. Will it work this time? Shortly thereafter, we got our answer. There it is, there it is. Oh, oh, <laughs> so close. Come on, baby. That has to be it. This has to be it. Is it his time? Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, this is what we're here for! That is the hole in one. Checked off the list. <laughs> now, we just have the big one to do. It is time. Enough of this. On to the next. While Sarah puts the finishing touches on the first draft of our fateful hole at Diamante Dunes, let me tell you how we're going to do this. I can't hit a drive 360 yards on a flat range, but neither can Matt, especially after his back injury. So how is this possible? This is impossible! Three reasons. Wind, the first bounce, and the terrain. First up, the wind. I spent way too long looking at maps of Mexico before I realized I could just watch the dang video and see. There's a lot of wind up there then. As you can tell, we've got a strong helping wind on this hole as it faces northeast, which is away from the ocean. As we see in Kyle Berkshire's experience at the 2021 PLDA World Long Drive Championship, the difference between a 20 mile per hour tailwind and a 20 mile per hour headwind is a staggering 130 yards. The second factor, the first bounce. It's impossible to tell from the video, but Matt's drive hits something that gives it a big kick forward and right. He jokingly says, Yo, I hit the concrete on the left, baby. Which might be true, but we see from this angle that he probably hits this huge downhill speed slot that launched his ball forward perfectly. Which brings us to our final factor, the terrain. Firm bounces aside, Matt is able to dodge the uphill slope at the front right part of the green by bouncing downhill and getting funneled left to right, skating across the green, heading straight for the hole. Perfect conditions, perfect first bounce, perfect terrain, we know what we have to do. So it begins. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment is finally here. The hole is ready. 
I'm ready. We only get one shot to do this first time. Imagine the scene. I'm gonna be honest, uh, I would be really happy if we even kept this remotely close to the fairway. I gotta swing really hard at these, as you guys know, that is a, a long way down, but if we can hit that right spot, we don't have to hit it crazy far. We just have to hit the right spot to get that magical bounce that Matt got, and we can get this thing done. <sighs> okay. Actually a little nervous here. A lot nervous, actually. You guys are gonna see this no matter what happens, so. Let's freaking rip this thing. Okay, maybe we hit a rock. Give me that concrete bounce. Well, uh, okay, not exactly ideal on the first shot. We gotta get this thing straightened out and start hitting those down slopes. I got my little muskrat here to help us out here. Let's get it done, buddy. As before, this shot takes everything we've got in the tank each swing, and we just have to hope we hit the center of the face with the right spin and launch data. And it wasn't long before I started to get an idea of the type of shot that I needed Ooh. to hit. We made it to the green. Ladies and gentlemen, we have hope. And that's all we need. Have you guys even seen Mr. Muskrat before? You guys that have been on the channel for a while definitely will recognize him, but I think he was a Christmas or a birthday present from Pops a while back, but he's here today. He's our good luck charm. Let's get this. Starting to heat up a little bit in here. Let's hope the driver can get hot too. With maybe one in every 20 shots having the power and accuracy to hit the green, the gravity of this momentous task started to weigh on me. Knowing that I would probably only have three or four really good attempts each session before my body gave out was tough. Piece of crap. But we've been here before and come out victorious. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh! So close. This might kill Garrett and Steve. Garrett, Steve, look out! It could have been killed. Starting to get that tweak in my wrist again, guys. I felt the last time when we were doing the other hole in one video. I know that means it's time to stop. First so. session down, 117 shots in the books. Session two brought with it some refined technical challenges oh, and is. patterns we observed over the first day. I think I know more about ball physics in this game than the developers do. It's absurd. For one, we needed to change the tee box angle and fix a few floating assets. Second, the slope of the green needed to be adjusted for realism. We're fixing that in the next version. And third, we found out there were two types of shots that made it to the green, bouncers and rollers. Bouncers were obviously still bouncing when they reached the putting surface, and when they transitioned to rolling, the game physics engine dramatically slows them down and spins them slightly in the direction they were moving already. Rollers stopped bouncing before the green and maintained their previous momentum and direction perfectly throughout the transition. This allowed most of them to roll past the pin. So in essence, if I hit it longer, it bounces and stops short of the hole. If I hit it short, it rolls and makes it past the hole. So since the bouncers almost never made it to the hole, my best bet was to hit rollers that slowed down to the perfect speed just before rolling onto the green. Also at this point, I started leaking sanity, but that was an expected outcome, of course. We're dead. We're gonna build the T tower. I'm gonna use every single T I have, and this is obviously what we need to do. Session three later that night brought with it, Zoe. well, that. I've got this. <laughs> my favorite part about these lights is my face is like two centimeters away from them every time I have to rewind the shot. Holy cow. In the questionable fashion ushered in some decent shots. Oh, <laughs> that's what we're talking about. That is exactly like math. Let's go. I'm gonna say this. Go ahead and start the music. Yeah, that's the one. I think we just did it. That's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be rolling at the perfect speed. Yes. Oh my gosh. Come on. We can see the hole. Just go in, go in, go in. <laughs> we started the music and everything. Oh. Tonight we made a game breaking realization though. Those of you with keen eyes and a familiarity with Matt's ace may have already spotted our big issue. The hole is currently 365 yards away from the tee. Maybe if I put the hole at exactly 360, we wouldn't have this issue. I told Sarah to make sure it was a little over 360 yards, otherwise the comment clowns would have a conniption fit if it said 359.9 yards. So she made it 365 and we never actually sat down and properly triangulated the exact hole location. This inaccuracy was costing me a few good shots each session, specifically every Every single bouncer I hit since most of them hit the brakes right in that area. There was one benefit to this though. The good news is I've been getting really good at the driver club twirl. In the hole. That's gonna be a four on Garrett and Steve again. 
Oh my god, we're gonna kill him! Ah! With frustrations and injuries mounting, it was looking like we needed an overhaul in this pin placement to really set fire to this challenge. I promise I'll dress better next time. <laughs> With Sarah out of town, I wanted to try one more session before we made the necessary changes to Diamante Dunes. But right off the bat, I was back to being punished for hitting my drives too far. The rollers were still looking likely though, as we started to scare the hole. Meanwhile, the mental toll was rising. All right, that was a bad idea. Ball speed, side spin, launch angle, club head speed, back spin, atmospheric pressure, dew point. Speakers, antenna, satellites, dog. And just after that, everyone in the house was sick for several weeks. This kept me out of the simulator, but gave Sarah time to perfect Diamante Dunes. So by the time I was recovered and ready, I knew this was the best chance we would ever have to etch our name alongside Matt in golf history. And we started cooking. Slide across that green. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> It's really good to know now though, that those bouncing shots that I do hit hard enough, when they hit the brakes on the green, they actually have a chance. That's all I need is a chance. It's all we've ever needed. Just do it again. Come on, hit that concrete. That is crushed. All right, ready, ready? Pull the brakes. Yep. now slide. Slide across the green. Keep sliding, keep sliding. Oh, that one's actually too long. What an insane back-to-back -back shot sequence. My brain also cooked. Who the heck knows what's going on there? We are going in the house. So we headed into session six with renewed hope and the feeling of inevitability back on our side. We started hot again, but also had another wrong side hole in one scare that wouldn't have counted. It only would have destroyed our sanity. Don't you dare go in the hole. Do not go in that hole. Don't. Thank you. At this point, I also started experimenting with some long drive swings and this was the best of the bunch. Oh, please do not go in the hole. I do not want this on my record. No, 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 no. Do not hit the brakes and go right. Please. Yeah, you're long. Nothing to see here. Won't be doing that again. Just was, oh my. And after a few more close calls, we hit this shot. Let's go. Come on. Right now. Oh, be just straight on the target. Air strike. Yeah, this will work. Big kick. Come on. Yes. Yes, slow yourself, slow yourself, slow yourself. Ooh, this could be it. Skate across, skate across, skate across. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Oh! Oh! That hurts. That pretty much killed our momentum for the night, so I changed things up for the next session. We're really spicing it up tonight. Take a look at this. Yes. Yes, I know. Dear God, what is that thing? Uh, come on. He went all out on there's that. There's a lot going on there. He went all out what? He all out, out of his damn mind? <laughs> well, I think there's hope. I hope he don't wear his outfit again. <laughs> uh, Flower pants on, old man elbow pad shirt on. Let's freaking do this thing. You know what to do. You know what to do. Oh, it's just the hair short. Oh, uh, unlucky. You have to see the pants again. With the near misses starting to rack up, we were able to stay positive because we knew it would only be a matter of time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is a ton of fun. No anger here. I am absolutely loving this because I know it's coming. Then, after another ball rolled a mere three inches past the cup, something crazy happened. I piped a drive and the sky track read about eight miles per hour below what I expected to see for ball speed. Misread anyway. So I chalked it up to a misread. And on the very next shot, the same thing happened, except even worse. Skytrack, are you okay? And for the first time in this challenge, I was scared. 
Without the Skytrack, we were 100% sunk, and I can't afford to just go buy another, which is why you should subscribe and turn off Adblock. So I hoped that this cleaning would fix our problem until I noticed right. what really went wrong. Uh, I think, oh! And there he goes, cracked, a victim. But you know who's not gonna crack? Me. We keep going, and we don't stop. <sighs> Thank you, my friend, for your sacrifice. Next! With a new ball loaded and ready to go. Come on, golf ball, get ready. We closed out this session with some tantalizingly close shots. You're bouncing, you're bouncing. Oh, no! No! And with night falling on February 4th, while preparing for my session, I thought back to my first hole-in-one recreation and remembered that I wore my wedding socks that night. Having recently been a groomsman in my friend's wedding, I decided it would be best to don these socks. And with that decision made, I prepared to head out to the simulator for one final time. This guy is the greatest player that I've ever seen play. I'm trying to do something beyond belief. It is impossible to prepare for. Right on target. Ooh, that's good. I love this one. Big bounces. Yep, big bounce. Keep bouncing. Now hit the brakes. Yep, now skate. Come on, buddy. This is it. This is it. This is it. Maybe. Yes, yes sir. We have to do it. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. We did it. The whole one finally here. Wait, I'm facing the wrong way. Stop. Yeah. Where are we now? What's that? We got it. The hole in one is ours. Oh my gosh, that is a two, two in a billion moment. We recreated the greatest golf shot in history. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Wow, we did it with some lucky socks. Lucky socks after all, get in there lucky socks. Oh my gosh, Whew. wow. Wow, wow, wow. That feels so good. Oh, I can't even describe to you guys what that feels like right now. Holy cow. Wow. It's over. We did it. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. My friends, we've done it. 779 shots. I'm quite happy with that. It would be rude of me not to do a giveaway for this video. Be sure to tap that subscribe button. It is currently the best way you can support my channel. If this video made you smile, even just a little bit, hit that subscribe button. Join the Muskrat Lynx golf team. We post five days a week. It's a mix of long form content, shorts, polls, giveaways, trivia. It's so much fun here. So to enter the giveaway, be a subscriber. It's fine, you can join right now. And then leave a comment down below. What has been your favorite part of this video? What's been your favorite video that I've posted on the channel so far? Just make sure you get the word favorite into your comment and I think that's what we'll do the giveaway for. We'll give you guys some muskrat link swag. We've got lots of cool stuff. We've got our patches, we got our scorecards, we got our pencils, we got our golf balls. I love what I do for you guys. I have so much fun making these videos. They're an absolute blast to edit. We spent so much time on this one. And again, big thank you to the Good Good Crew for posting all sorts of amazing golf content and pushing the envelope for what YouTube golf can be. I hope you guys enjoyed what we put out there today, but I think that's gonna be it for me. Have fun out there, everyone. Let's go!